Okay, so for our next big assignment, it's called the Annotated Bibliography. This is a really important assignment for two reasons. One, the Annotated Bibliography final draft is worth 10% of your overall grade for the class. So you cannot get an A in this class unless you complete this assignment, okay? The other reason why it's really important is that this is the first step to doing your research paper. So if you do a good job on the annotated bibliography, if you do a good job on this assignment, then in a couple of weeks when we start working on the research paper, it's gonna be a lot easier for you. You're gonna have all of your sources um, located. You might you know, need to find like one or two more, but most everything is gonna be right there. You've already read it, you already understand it, and it's gonna be a lot easier. So I want to show you this page that is part of the Fresno City College Library page, and it is called a LibGuide, and it was made by one of our librarians for me and my classes, okay? So that's why it has my name on it. And on the front page, it has um, some definitions of social justice. So make sure that you are reading these and that you understand them. And then I have this article here, okay? And that looks like this. It is not a really long article, but it does have a lot of information in it, okay? So really, really make sure that you read this and that you understand it, and you might even want to take some notes as you're reading. Okay, then I have a glossary and these are just words that you are going to come across as you're reading about social justice and as you're reading through your articles. Really important to understand these terms. Um, you probably know some of them or a lot of them, but just make sure that you are familiar with these and if you're not, that you have the definitions of these in your mind, okay? Um, there's a tab about topics. So this is where you're going to find the topic that you're going to research. And you're only going to choose one of these. It could be anything in here. There are other topics that are considered social justice topics that are not here. If there's something that you think of that you really want to write about, something that you know, uh, you've been thinking about or maybe you read an article about a little while ago and you're really interested in finding out more, it is possible to do that topic, but you're already a little bit behind because for these topics, um, what I had the librarian do is to locate... Um, at least one article on each of them. And this could be, so for example, if you are going to write about children of undocumented immigrants, then this could be one article that you use, okay? And it probably is something that you do want to use if that's gonna be your topic. So think about it very carefully, pick something that you maybe already know a little bit about so that you can have a good strong opinion going in. Your opinion may change as you do more research, but if you already are thinking about this topic and kind of have opinions about it, it's much easier to write, especially if it's something that affects your life in any way. Okay, um, then I have a couple of um, tabs here that have information about how to write the annotated bibliography. So this one talks about you know, plagiarism and how to avoid plagiarism, what to do, um, how to do a summary, which is gonna be important for the annotated bibliography, how to um, do citations, we already have talked about this information a little bit with our first um, two essays, but now your job is to look for many, many um, different articles and to summarize them. So it can be a little bit time consuming and sometimes it's just easy to copy some sentences or parts of sentences and you wanna be really careful about that, okay? You don't wanna do that unless you're quoting. 
And then I have a tab here about annotated bibliographies. So if you haven't looked at this already, make sure that you're looking at this, that you know what an annotated bibliography is, that you looking at the sample here. And so this annotation, this type of annotation, is exactly what you are going to do for each one of the articles that you find on your topic, okay? So for this LibGuide, I would expect that you're gonna be spending at least a half an hour to an hour looking through it, making sure that you understand everything. You probably want to be taking notes while you're doing it because this is all important information for you. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions about anything, anything is confusing on the LibGuide or anything about the annotated bibliography. When we meet on Zoom, on Tuesday and Thursday for this week, I'm going to be talking about the annotated bibliography a lot and exactly what you have to do. So if you're confused, make sure that you come to one of those sessions. You can ask me or you can email me questions and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.